Welcome to your new free family tree. Getting started with Roots Finder is easy. You're just going to enter what you know and then we'll help you find more. One of the ways we do this is by providing you with hints from over a dozen different websites. Hints show up as little green circles in your tree. To get hints, make sure you've selected your preferred hint sources. You can change your hint settings anytime by clicking Hint Settings from the left-hand menu, then selecting or deselecting the sources and ancestor types you want. Be sure to scroll down and click Save. This little star icon here in the toolbar of a person's page indicates whether or not you're requesting hints for this person. If the star is hollow, your current hint settings don't include this person. To get hints for them, click the star and make sure it appears solid. When we've found hints for your person, they'll appear in the hint section on the right-hand side of the page. Click a link to follow the hint to the partner's website. To accept a hint, make sure you have the Roots Finder Web Clipper installed. The Web Clipper is a browser extension for Chrome or Firefox, which will read the hint information and then add it to your tree when you tag people. If you don't have the Clipper installed, go to Apps in the Roots Finder left-hand menu. Then install the browser extension. When you're on the hint page at the partner site, click the Clipper from your browser's toolbar. Then follow the fields to add evidence to your tree by tagging people in the hint or creating a new person. When you're ready to start doing more research, click the research icon under the header on a person page to get some help. Search Hints will teach you how to actively search for your ancestor at other websites, such as FamilySearch, Ancestry, MyHeritage, etc. Again, if you find something you want, you'll simply use the Web Clipper to clip and tag it to your tree. Similarly, the GenSmart's Hints Research guides and links will take you to resources with background information and even more ideas for when, where, and how to find information about your family. If you're stumped, click Get Help. We'll guide you to resources where you can connect with experts and enthusiasts who may have additional suggestions for you. In addition to documents, you may want to add photos of people and places. You can always add photos to someone's page by clicking the plus icon in the media section. Then, look over on the left-hand side menu to see the other major functions of Roots Finder, including research logs, DNA analysis, and reports. For help using Roots Finder, click this help icon here in the bottom corner. It will take you to help articles and videos, or you can send us a note and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. As you gather more and more items, you might enjoy browsing through them using the media wall. When you find something you want to share, simply click the share icon to post to Facebook, Pinterest, or Twitter. You can also invite family members to browse around by sending the URL. If your tree is public, they'll be able to look at all the images without even having to log in, as long as the media pertains to someone who's deceased. To learn more about the different features within Roots Finder, stay tuned for the next videos on our YouTube channel.